Hey again everybody, Joe with Sneaker Factory in Florida Park with Jeff from Total Physical Therapy. Today we're going to talk about something that uh, a lot of us deal with, um, something that's near, not dear at all to my heart. I've dealt with it for the past decade and that's uh, chronic tightness in the lower limbs, specifically the, uh, the calves. Yeah, um, what we're going to talk about today is not that little tightness you get after a long run or new activity or something like that. Something that you sh can stretch out real quick and easy, that's fine. Something just came on one time. Not a big deal. What we're talking about is something that's always there, always present. You always feel like that ankle, that lower leg is stiff. Um, one of the biggest things you need for just normal function is, is dorsiflexion. You need about 20 degrees of dorsiflexion. So that's pulling your foot up like that. You know, if you have a lot of trouble doing that and you're feeling a lot of strain back there all the time, even after not doing anything, you probably have chronic calf tightness. Um, if you're a big runner, one thing that I see a lot with chronic calf tightness is people in the wrong shoe. They have a shoe that has too much lift for them. There's a big difference between normal sneakers and the low drop sneaker. So, something like this is that typical sneaker, traditional lift. We'll kind of get in there, nice blue on white for you. And you can kind of see that angle there, you know. That's going to constantly put your foot down. It's going to put it in that plantar flat flex position versus dorsiflex. So that calf is going to want to get tight there. One thing you can wind up doing is a low drop shoe, which Joe has here. Right here. Something like this. Very low drop, nice straight, you know, minimal rise. That's going to get you closer to that position. It's going to get you a little bit more on the heel, or a little bit more on the ball versus the heel there. Um, that's something that can wind up helping there too. Something else, if you're having a lot of, you know, swelling, tightness, things like that going on there, compression socks sometimes help kind of get that blood flow going back up so that doesn't sit in there and become real stiff. Um, these are nice ones too, by the way. Very soft. Um, that can wind up going a long way for you as well. The other thing you need to think about though is, you know, why are you constantly having that tightness? You know, if these aren't resolving the issue. I always use the example of you're going to go look over the edge of a cliff and, you know, you're about to fall. Your buddy grabs you and pulls you back. That's kind of what your calf is doing. If you have too much motion at the hip, at the low back, even the upper body here twisting all over the place, your calf might be the first place that says, I'm going to grab a hold, I'm going to pull you back, I'm going to catch you, uh, keep you nice and safe. The problem when that happens, though, is it winds up limiting your dorsiflexion. So, you know, if you are in the wrong shoe, you know, you want to try something a little low drop, come see Joe here. Um, check him out. He'll kind of get you on something that fits you a little bit better. If that still doesn't help the issue, you know, you go for a couple runs and you're still having that constant tightness or you've been stretching and you've been mobilizing your ankle forever and you can't get that dorsiflexion, come see us. We'll kind of see what's going on there, why your calf is doing so much work for you. That's all I got for you this time. I'm Jeff from Total Physical Therapy, total-pt.com. Joe from uh, Sneaker Factory, Florida Park. Uh, we'll check you guys next time. We're going to talk about some injury prevention techniques, so run happy.